Oh, the drive through go good, I know why. You go one, window one, window two, then you drive off. See, it don't work like that in the hood. What kill me in the hood, though, they give you the polite speaker, then a rude-ass worker. And you pull up to the speaker, they be all nice, hey, welcome to McDonald's. Would you like to try double go 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 Uh, no, let me get a number one with cheese and uh, supersize that. Next voice you hear, is that in Pull the window too. <laughs> like, damn, they do a shift change real quick. Could have swore your ass was nice like 10 seconds ago. <laughs> then they don't even give you your price, just pull the window too. <laughs> and why we always gotta bypass window one in the hood? It's just straight to window two. <laughs> no one I don't have a fucking clue what I'm talking about. Hey, I don't even go to fuck window two, ain't you Go to the hood, your ass go straight to window two. It's like what they do in that window one, they don't want us to know about. They're doing some under the table action and shit. They're selling mixed sacks up in that window. Oh yeah, let me get the 20 bag and a super size that. Y'all want no poppy seeds in my shit either. Weed smokers know what I'm talking about. They don't want no poppy seeds. That's the hood though. How many couples we got in the building? Anybody here on dates? <laughs> Fellas, you better clap. You want that pussy tonight, huh? <laughs> what the hell? He's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Keep on dates tonight. I'm glad I'm married. That's probably the best route you can go right about now in 2011. Relationships is too damn advanced for me. You know, I'm used to the days, you know, old school. You just go, you know. Go to first base, second base, third base. That's all you have to worry about. 2011, that shit's a little bit different. It's the same, but it's just a little different. 2011, first base is a username, second base is a login, and third base is a damn password. We done went from relationships to memberships. Straight up. But it make it better to uh, get rid of somebody. You can dump somebody easier than 2011. <laughs> Just deactivate their ass. <laughs> Just log out of love on their ass. Uh, bitch, I'm done with you, inner buddy. Shit, this shit, tab over, bitch. <laughs> oh, you talking shit on oh, caps lock on your ass? <laughs> you should have an argument, man. <laughs> For real, though. But I mean, if you date, it's just some shit you gotta worry about. This shit too advanced for me. I mean, it's just too advanced. But you can tell what you're getting into, though. You can tell what people own just by what's on them. Simple as that. You can tell what people own by what's on them. Take cologne, for, for instance. It's all in the name. You meet somebody out here still rocking obsession? <laughs> That's old school. Obsessive, old school, put that shit together. That's an old school stalker for your ass. <laughs> Fellas, you meet a chick wearing eternity? She trying to get hitched, watch out. You know, you better be looking for them Burberry weekend chicks. That's them hoes, that, them Friday to Sunday hoes, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got to go home, but you got to go the hell up out of here. Come Sunday, you know? Fellas, it ain't no different, ladies. If you meet a dude with skinny jeans on. <laughs> no, seriously, it might be to your benefit, though. Because one thing, at least, you ain't got to worry about is him making no babies. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about him getting you pregnant. Because he's sterile as hell with the birth control jeans on. Them tight-ass vasectomy slacks. He's murdering his sperm count. <laughs> Sperm count is dwindling as we speak of this motherfucker. Somebody in here right now got on skinny jeans, don't you? <laughs> balls mad as hell or something. <laughs> balls on top of each other and shit, you know what I mean? Mad as hell. <laughs> Real though. But fellas, there's some telltale signs for y'all too. You wanna know how you know you're gonna get some coochie? You wanna know? I mean, y'all some fags in here or do y'all wanna know how you gonna get some coochie? Coochie. You know what that is, right? Okay. Let me ask that again. Uh, fellas, you want to know how you know you're going to get some coochie? 
okay? Or better yet, how you know she left the house with the intentions of giving up some coochie. It may not be the coochie you gonna get, but somebody gonna get it. You know how you know? Look for that big ass purse. Cause I used to wonder like, damn, they're just going crazy with these handbags. They're just getting bigger and bigger. I figured it out though. That ain't no handbag. She know what's up. That ain't no handbag. That's a damn weekend bag. That's a damn overnight stay bag. Hey, she know. Cause best believe she got a panty, a spare panty and bra set in there. She got some wet wipes just in case they don't make it to the crib. She got some KY, some Magnums if she get lucky. Some Trojan regulars just in case she don't measure up. And she probably done cut the finger off some rubber gloves just in case she run into an Asian. Oh yeah, and the last thing, she definitely gotta have that spare outfit. Cause the last thing she wanted to be is that Sunday morning stoplight slut. <laughs> Y'all know about the Sunday morning stoplight sluts? That's that chick you see Sunday morning, you're on your way to church. It's like eight in the morning, you get to the light, just chilling, and look to the right. It's a chick in the car with her club clothes still on and shit. Now, uh, Either the church you're going to got a cover charge, or bitch, you just left the scene of a dick down. Which one is it? She up in the car, all up on the wheel with the worried look on her face, questioning her judgment over the last 12 hours. Like, I shouldn't have gave him no pussy. I think he had a bump on his dick. Was that foreskin? I'm such a whore.